Renaissance fam, Renaissance cam here back in effect. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be alerted when these videos drop. What's going on, guys? I hope everybody's doing well. Me, I'm doing just fine. All right, I can't complain one bit. Taking it day by day, you know, living this life. But y'all got up this morning. Um, I was feeling super lazy, to be honest. Um, I didn't feel like doing anything. But um, later on, I decided I'll get up and go fishing. It, it, I really didn't feel like doing anything because the weather has just been so crazy. You know, as far as the temperatures just fluctuating in Florida. You know, today it's just like super windy, super cold, you know. Not ideal conditions to go fishing. I know there's certain possibilities and I have had certain experiences where I've went out there on like days where the weather was terrible and did an amazing, you know, catch. But we're gonna see. All right, I'm going out here. I'm taking y'all with me, of course. Target species today is sheep's head, all right? Um, I've done one video in the past on sheep's head. Really, really tricky fish to catch, all right? These guys are notorious for stealing your bait, and um, they're actually very, very challenging to catch, all right? So that's what makes it more fun for me in any ways. I mean, go out here, catch fish every cast. It's not as fun as, you know, tricking something that's known for being slick. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see y'all at the landing. All right, guys, so we have made it out here. Um, conditions a little bit rougher than I expected, but I mean, it's still nice out here. As you can see, the sky is, you know, 100% blue, not a cloud in the sky. Um, it's very chilly. It's probably about 48, 49 degrees right now. But we out here, so we're gonna see what we can do. Um, first things first, we gotta find some bait. Um, I try not to buy bait if I don't have to. Um, these fish out here, they're foragers, okay? Sheep's head are foragers. They, they sit around eating crabs, oysters, clams, any type of, you know, crustaceans. That's the type of stuff they eat. So thank God these waters are gifted, you know, with these easily accessible out here. So we're gonna divvy up some oysters. Maybe we can find some mud crabs, I'm not sure. But if we can't find any mud crabs, that's fine. We'll just use oysters, no big deal. These things love oysters, they're just, you know, it's just, just so annoying having to crack open and everything, but that's my favorite bait to use for these fish. So all the oysters you'll need, they'll be, you know, on the edges of stuff. So any pilings, any rocks, just look look around. Best time to get these is low tide because they're all exposed. So you go get you some, and um, we'll show you how to do it from here. All right, guys, so there's plenty of oysters all along this bank right here. Now the tools you're gonna need, these honestly are not really mandatory, but it makes your job a little bit easier. All right. First things first, we got a, some type of garden hoe, shovel, anything with a long handle so you can reach out and you don't have to get into the water and you know get your clothes all nasty, get the boat all nasty. This right here has helped me a lot, right? Next thing, um, also not mandatory, I have a hammer and I have a um, some gloves. Get some gloves. These things are sharp, they'll cut you very easily. So get you some gloves, get you a hammer, 
and um, get you some pliers, okay? They, they make it so much easier so you're not sitting there smashing the oyster. You can just squeeze it and it'll crack the shell and then you take your oyster shucker, stick it in, twist it, and it's easy, trust me. But yeah, we are gonna grab a couple of these oysters and we are gonna see y'all out there on the spot. So we have made it to our spot. Um, conditions actually aren't that bad. I think we might be able to do something today. It's a good old incoming tide right now. So I've actually been able to do pretty good, you know, recently on incoming tide. Yesterday I caught one, but it was a different story. Yesterday it was glass smooth, you know what I'm saying? It was just so perfect yesterday that I had to not catch fish. So that's how that goes. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I'm using and how I'm catching these fish. So I put all my oysters and stuff in a cooler with just a little bit of ice from yesterday. Um, this is gonna keep me from making my boat so disgusting, all right? I'm gonna crack them in here. I'm gonna throw the fish in here. Everything's going in here, all right? But as you can see, we got our pliers here. Squeeze it. Mm. Yeah, you saw all that juice come out. That's what they want. So you're gonna take that, and as you can see, the oyster's starting to peek out a little bit, all right? That, that right there, that inside, that's oyster. So we're gonna take this out, I'm gonna show you how to rig it real quick. All right, guys, so right here I got my oyster. All we're gonna do, we're gonna scrape all of that good stuff out. That's what they want right there. They don't want the shell. You can forget about it if you think you're gonna stick a hook through that shell, all right? Take that right there, that's what they want. Actually throw the shell out. Throw that out there where the uh, fish are. And that's gonna start off your chunk. Cause we ain't scraped the block yet, but we gonna scrape that block in a minute. All right, just take your oyster and you just wanna start threading it on this hook. And remember, these fish are super slick. So you wanna conceal that hook as good as you possibly can. That's the only way to really get them. You wanna adjust the depth on your bobber stopper as well. Just take your bobber stopper, adjust that depth. You see my little string? Bring that up some. All right. We're working with about 11 feet right now, so that's, that's more than enough to see if these fish are down there. So with that being said, we're ready to go fishing, y'all. Let's do this. surprised me. Look at those teeth, good lord. He was down there a while too. I don't know if this is the same one. Ooh, I almost got bit. I don't know if this is the same one that did me justice last time. Not a big one, but a definitely a keeper. As you can see those teeth are crazy. The circle hook got him right in the jaw. 
Look at that J. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. That is a nice one there. At least we can eat tonight. At least we can eat tonight. Come on. That didn't take long either once I got to the spot. He's going right in there. Missing these fish like crazy. I don't know what's going on today, but I've been missing them so bad. And I'm getting extremely frustrated because the sun's going down and run out of time. So I may not even end up, you know, I may not be able to catch enough. You know, catch my limit at least, but we're getting, we're getting fish. They're just not, you know, not staying on. Look how look, look at look how close that guy is to coming off every time. That's how they've been. It's been killing me. Probably about, probably about 19 inches. Look at them teeth. Lord, have mercy. You get your hands stuck in there, you got a problem. Please don't tear up my rod. Jesus Christ. That's number four, you guys. That's number four. It is almost dark, but I'm still catching them. Surprisingly, I don't know why. They waited so late, but we're still doing all right. Let's go. All right, guys, so it has gotten dark and it is extremely cold out here. So I'm about to head in. We didn't do too bad. We didn't do too bad, honestly. Um, we missed a lot more fish than we usually miss out here. I don't know what the problem was today. I, my fingers are just so numb that I really wasn't feeling the fish like I used to, but um, or like I usually do. But yeah, it's it, it was a mess today. Um, we ended up with about four nice sheep's head, and we would have caught our limit if I would have actually capitalized on all the misses I had. So. Um, we just gotta get better. That's all it is. Gotta get better. It's a part of fishing. So it's actually really pretty out here tonight. I don't know if you guys can see that, that backdrop over there. But it is crazy out here tonight. But like I said, I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share it, all that good stuff. All right. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot more sheep's head fishing videos because I this is my favorite time of the year to catch them. All right, it's the best time of the year to catch them because you know once the temperatures get cold, they get up under these docks and stuff and just you know go to having frenzy. So we're gonna do a lot more sheep's head fishing videos. 
sorry I couldn't really get as much footage as I usually do, you know, with this fish, but um, we're getting better. We're going to get better. Um, so just take all I'm giving you and, you know, apply it to the real world. I'm sure you'll have some fun. So we're going to head in. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Once again, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and um, we'll see y'all next time. Y'all keep on learning.